Hey, it's Deborah from Neuroengineering Institute. Thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube channel. Definitely hit that little bell below because then when I record new videos and I upload them, you'll get a notification right away. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe because I plan on putting a lot more content out through YouTube. I did get a request last week that I start a podcast. And I just wanna let you know, I did have a podcast that actually went new and noteworthy on iTunes within like two weeks of launching. And we're in the process of revamping that. So that takes a minute. And in the meantime, I can just pop up some real fast videos here on YouTube for you so you can continue to get the tools that you need and that you want to continue to move your life and your business forward. So yeah, definitely hit that button that's right below. It'll consistently give you an alert when I upload a new video and please subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that and sharing this channel with all of your friends. We want to hit big numbers in our subscriptions and the only way to do that is for you to be a part of it. So what's today's video about? Well, I'm, I'm going to upload a, a few here. So the first one is part two about affirmations. Do they work? And I did get some really nice feedback. Thank you so much, you guys, for feeding back to me your experience with affirmations and how using affirmations actually impacts your life. And absolutely, affirmations work. The thing is, is that there's faster ways to get the shift from a neurological perspective than your classic kind of old school affirmation process. And here's the little nugget that makes the difference. If you can hold the affirmation in your thought with the accompanying feeling of whatever that affirmation is about, then that affirmation will become ever so much more powerful. Now, when you're saying affirmations, looking into the mirror definitely helps. I mean, when you look into your own eyes and you connect to yourself, it's like you're talking to your inner being. That is a really powerful place to come from with your affirmations. Now, if you take it up a notch and you actually include the feeling of what that affirmation is about, now you've taken it up to another level of connectivity, shall we say. So there's one more level. So, so far we've got the affirmations, the repetition, looking into the mirror, connecting with your, your higher self, your inner being, whatever you want to language that as, your God force, you know, the universe, the multiverse, is, whatever the word is you want to use, it's totally fine with me. So you make that connection. And then you infuse that connection with the feeling of the thing you're affirming. So let's say you're affirming, I am healthy. What you want to do is you want to actually go into your body and you want to connect with what, what's the feeling of healthy? What would it feel like to feel really healthy? And you might con connect to words like, well, I, I would feel vibrant. So what's it feel like to feel vibrant? I would feel alive. What's it feel like to feel alive? I would feel energetic. What's it feel like to feel energetic? And so you want to connect into the buzzwords will lead you to the feeling. So it's not just about the words. And this is the point I was trying to get across in um, part one of this affirmations, do they really work? Um, I guess it's now a mini series. So the thing is, is that you must get into the feeling of the affirmation or the affirmations are just a bunch of empty words. And that's why it takes so long for that affirmation to show up. So now number three is when you get into the feeling of that affirmation, right? Then you hold that thought for 68 seconds because it's a bandwidth builder. That's probably the best way I can describe it. You hold that thought for 68 seconds and it builds up the bandwidth within the brain circuit, which is 
encapsulated within the brain. So the brain circuit is our hypothalamus, our hippocampus, our pineal gland, and our pituitary gland. So we want to trigger our brain syndicate, especially the hippocampus, because once we get that trigger happening, the job of the hippocampus is then to create, recreate, recreate, duplicate the actual neurosynthesis that takes place when you hold the feeling for 68 seconds, okay? And, you know, eventually you can get it down to a place where you're really efficient at it and 17 seconds will do the trick. So even like, please, seriously, how could you possibly not have time to do this for yourself, right? It's everybody has 68 seconds a day to set aside to create the things that, that you say that you want, right? So just a really quick review. And this is why um, affirmations can be really, really powerful. And it's also why affirmations can be hmm, ho-hum, not so much, right? Is because if you're just saying the words and you're really not connecting to the words, then they're just words. And every word has a vibration. Every word has the meaning that we give it. So when you infuse those words, this is magic 101. When you infuse those words, with the meaning behind the words and you just really connect into your heart of hearts and you own that then you hold that feeling for 68 seconds it's like boom you've got something so powerful you can transform any aspect of your life any aspect of your life it just is a matter of knowing how to really work the tools okay so one other thing I want to give you, because I alluded to it earlier, is there's a difference between knowing and believing. And if you were tuning in to any of my previous YouTube videos, you'll know that I talked about the difference between gratitude and appreciation. So gratitude is a really big thing these days. Everybody's talking about gratitude. I remember when I first discovered gratitude, the thought was, or the saying was, you know, um, gratitude noth turns nothing into something and something into more. Well, I have something else for you around that, speaking of somethings. <laughs> so um, appreciation is actually a higher vibration than gratitude. And I talked about that in one of my previous YouTube videos. So you really want to take a minute and you want to watch them all. So gratitude is here on the vibrational scale. Appreciation is here, okay? So why is that? Well, you'll have to go back and listen to the other um, YouTube videos that I have up here and you'll find it because I, I don't want to digress. I want to get into talking about believing and knowing. So believing is here. When you believe in yourself, you're here vibrationally. When you know your power, you're here. Okay. And that's why getting into the feeling and the vibration of the thing you're affirming is what really drives home that affirmation, brings it into a bandwidth within your neural circuitry. And then actually the hippocampus can do its job and can replicate that and continue to populate that and propagate that through your entire neurology. And soon you become this unstoppable machine where it doesn't matter what's going on outside of you. It doesn't matter who's talking smack about what you can't do or how bad the economy is or how bad the politics are or whatever their story is about why they're stuck and you actually just blow by all of that and you turn your life into exactly every goal every dream every desire and every possible miracle that you haven't even thought of yet so I'm Deborah Peters, Neuroengineering Institute. Thank you so much for being a part of my life, for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, and hit that bell, because I have a lot more content coming, and you're going to want to get every last morsel of it. Mwah.